believe nothing. No matter who said it, where you read it, no matter if I said it, unless it agrees with your own reasoning and your own common sense. And this is a very important guideline and structure of thinking and thought process that the Buddha implemented during his time 2,600 years ago as a way to encourage everyone to contemplate and criti critically think about everything within themselves as opposed to always relying on external systems and structures and beliefs and values for joy and happiness. And I think this is very important because everyone ultimately has a different truth. What is right for me may not be right for you. What brings me joy and happiness and peace of mind might bring you anguish and pain and suffering. So it's very important to ponder and contemplate deep within to understand ourselves what sits right with us and what is good for us. By only accepting and believing the social models and belief systems of other people and other organizations, it takes away our ability to critically think, to deeply contemplate. And by doing that, we do not allow ourselves the opportunity to understand deeply about certain matters. When we accept without understanding, we don't have clarity. We only have superficial faith. But when we have deep clarity through understanding, insight, knowledge and wisdom, then everything we do is free from doubt. Everything we do is very clear from within. And if we have that conviction from within, that self-confidence, then the thoughts and opinions and criticism and judgment of other people won't sway us, won't instill doubt in us because we are very clear on what is happening to us. Once again, the Buddha said to believe nothing, no matter who said it, where you read it, no matter if I said it, unless it agrees with your own reasoning and your own common sense. Despite being a revered leader of his time, he heavily encouraged independent thinking so that we have to contemplate, understand and develop insight into the things that we abide by as opposed to just blindly following something because someone said it. And if we are merely blindly following the rules of others and the systems of others, then we will not have conviction in what we do and we will not be true to ourselves. I really hope that we can all develop independent thinking. We can all accept only the things that sits right with us so that we can develop our own truths, understand ourselves deep within, and eventually abide in deep peace, harmony, and joy from within. Thanks again for watching everyone, and I'll see you again in tomorrow's video. Namaste.